Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Have you guys been? What's going on? Yes, I know it's been a minute and I've been a little bit inconsistent on this platform, but I apologize. Like, I'm so sorry, guys. I've been so busy. I've gotten back into work. You can see how excited I am. Like, I started working back fully, and most of the times I'm overwhelmed with work. Like, throughout last week, I didn't even have time for myself. I could barely sleep for four straight hours. But, anyways, guys, I said today I'm going to come and talk to you guys because I've honestly missed doing this and if you're seeing my gorgeous face for the first time welcome to my channel we have fun here I'm happy to have you here please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button before you leave and if you're a returning subscriber like you've always watched my videos and you are back here again I did this for you guys ain't me ain't me you share share what have you guys been i honestly miss you guys so much welcome back yeah thank you for stopping by and in today's video like you already know from the title i'm going to talk about grace yes so let's get right into today's video So guys, it's no news that Big Brother Nigeria season five or six, what season is on? I don't know. Lockdown season just ended and Lecon won the show. Yeah, I'm not one person to see that I'm watching Big Brother, to be honest. I don't, I thought in the previous seasons I didn't really watch. I just used to hear this from maybe a friend telling me about what Big Brother, what happened on Big Brother and all that. But I never watched any of the shows. But I watched this one, not, in, not on my TV. And besides, lockdown made me do it. I didn't have work. I wasn't doing much. And I was like, okay. And our social media platforms, if you open Twitter, there's, they are fighting about Big Brother. If you open Instagram, someone is posting about what happened in the house. So somehow, I got roped in, into watching Big Brother. And to be honest, I don't think I ever regret watching this one because I learned a major lesson from it. Yes. So at the beginning of the show, we all saw Likon go into the house with his electrician outfit and a lot of people like this guy looks stupid that where did they where did biggie get his housemates from a lot of tweets then man it was they dragged this boy on the streets of twitter i can't even like, like i didn't i didn't really say anything bad about him but i just didn't like that i said was i was a sex enthusiast i don't understand because it didn't make me into money like, what was doing this one that was my first reaction to the call entering the house i cannot even lie so everyone is i better go cook and sit down somewhere giant i didn't really take note of him but I noticed him and that is electric clothes. Yeah, so they got into the house and things started happening. And at the end of the day, he shall won the show. There were a lot of drama concerning Lecon, but for some reason, love. People just started liking him from different angles. Everybody started voting for Lecon. Hey, I'm an icon. Vote for Lecon. Today, bitches were jumping on it. And the guy, be the guy became so big. He had an issue with Erica in the house. Everybody knows about that. And he has had to divide Nigeria into two. We had the airlights and we had the icons. They were fighting over who the battle of yeah, there was a battle of supremacy. Who is more who has more this? Who is more this? Is, a lot of people were standing Erica. They were supporting her. But for me, when it came to the Erica situation, I don't hate Erica or anything, but I just hated what she did to Lecon. I hated the way she talked to him. She said, well, she said she was drunk now. I can't remember what happened to her again, but I don't think she talked to anybody like that. And the one thing I didn't like about her was her confidence. If she was overly confident on the show, she didn't even know what was happening outside. She had, I know it's good to have confidence. Don't get me wrong. Hold up. Before you think um, I'm, um, I'm saying confidence is not good. No, confidence is amazing. You should get it well. But when you're on a show and you're thinking that you know that you're fat, hello, excuse you, you don't do that because you don't know what's happening outside. You don't know if people are going to like it. That's one thing I actually, that actually drew me to live on the fact that he didn't know if anybody would even like him outside the house. I can, I can remember when, when he had an interview with Big B and Big B was asking, uh, no, on their tents giving, I think they had a, a Five, top five dinner and he said when he got into the house he didn't think 
it was going to last past two weeks. They decided to call me and I'm promoting the EP, the song he had out and all that. Then after two weeks will be out because look at him, who's gonna like him? That's what I love. Just you know, he went in there thinking that who am I? But God graced him. See, eh, to be honest, Lakers life is a prayer point. The kind of grace that guy carried, or that guy carries, I haven't seen it on anybody before. Like, like how he went from that place to where he is now, I can't even explain. Like it was, it's just, it's just so amazing. And I, I'm not really a fan of Dorothy. Mm, I don't hate her. I like her. She's beautiful. She's a beautiful woman in our, in our own right. But I just, just like the way she was always talking down on the top of even the housemates when they came out of the house and started asking them so like tricky t when tricky was asked why he picked lecon as deputy there was a time he picked Lekon when he was head of house and he picked lecon as his deputy and then people asked him that so why did you pick lecon as your deputy tricky t said because he looked at the panel was like ah hey yeah this boy will soon go home but let me just help him stay one more week and my mind was like are you serious that is how god will confuse your enemies Chicken was not a con a cons enemy anyway. That's how God got to confuse people to help him. She gets. He thought he was saving Lecon. But even if he hadn't even if he hadn't picked Lecon as deputy, I'm sure Lecon's fans would have still voted him to stay. I only wanted him to experience that head of house lounge to so like everybody has experience. He hadn't been there before. And when they got in, their expression was amazing. I just liked the way they, their humility. As it was so relatable, and their regime was one of the best in the house so far for me. And I like the way he was so humble. Like he didn't ever think he had fans out there. He he didn't he he didn't, he didn't pride himself as someone that had fans or had faith that he was going to be there every week that he was up for eviction. He always thought that was going to be his last week, and that's how and that's why I could relate with him. That's why I actually really loved Lacon. At the point, Dorothy became really, really confident. I got about the day when she and Lecon, Tricky T and Ozo were up for eviction. When they told them to stand up and like, um, Tricky T left, it was not remaining Dorothy, Lecon, and Ozo. Dorothy wasn't wearing her shoes. So <laughs> then they called um, Lecon. You are saved. That was when Dorothy picked up her shoes because she had seen that this bad soup. <laughs> it's looking like it's not what it is today. Because I think she just felt like Lekon was going to be next to leave. They all looked down on him so much. Like when Chikiti was saying that um was Lekon is the con a threat to anybody in the house. And it was like, no, nobody even sees him in the house. Like nobody even thinks of him that much. But I think any person that wised up on Lekon's whole game plan was Nengi, she already knew that Likon meant a lot outside. That's why he was always being consistently saved whenever I was up for eviction. I don't want to ramble too much because if you didn't watch the show, I don't know why I'm just saying a lot of Big Brother drama, but I just want to come and pick out the lesson I learned from Big Brother that God will purposely fetch water with a basket just to disgrace the bucket. That's just Likon's story for me. That's all I see in that story because nobody thought anything of him. They're like, look at him, who like him. That Lekon came and changed the narrative. Like, it didn't look like a winner. When he walked into that, it looked like, oh, they've gone to carry it out from machine to come and be on Big Brother for us. Like, because a lot of beautiful and elite people are always going into the house. But for some reason, Lekon is not, is not so good looking. He doesn't have six flags. He's not all that. He's just a random guy that you won't even look at twice. But it was extremely, it was very intelligent. That's one thing nobody could take away from him because the way he even talks, it sounds really, really and super intelligent. Nobody thought anything of him. He sneaked up on on everybody and he just grew on people. And the way he handled the situation with Erica was so amazing. A lot of people thought he was chasing clouds with Erica's name, but I just felt like it was just the new concern and because he actually really really liked that. I just saw a tweet that Erica put out there apologizing to Lico. I don't know how real that tweet is, but whatever. I hope they make amends and become friends because I really want to see them become friends and thrive outside Big Brother House because life is too short to carry strife. I think it's even the fans that are making this more difficult than it looks. 
if you see when an airlight when a, an Erica fan is fighting an icon, you think it's World War Twenty. But to be honest, I actually really enjoyed the show, and when Lincoln was crowned winner, I was so excited. God, the percentage sixty percent of what I don't even know. It was crazy. Anyway, guys, I'm just here to tell you guys that don't joke with grace. If you have the grace of God on your life, nothing can stop you when it's your time. Nobody. God will change things for you. Because at the point I'm looking at how is Lincoln going to win the show? We had people like Kidwire. We had Ozzo, we had strong people, we had Erica, like, how is he going to win? But God paved ways for him. Erica got disqualified for reasons that was her fault. He got voted out. Uh -uh. It was a shock. Ozzo left. As in, things just worked in Lincoln's favor. That, that, that's all I just think, like, things worked out for his group. Because those people were really strong contenders. And at the end of the day, he was left with people that were not as strong as his fan, as him. And he won the show. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know I'm rambling so much. And besides, I'm super excited. Apart from Lincoln's win, I'm back in business. Lines are falling for me in pleasant places. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm